I'm Lewis and welcome back to my channel. Today I should be doing a video for young people. It's aimed at people around 16 to 19 that haven't really got much job experience and haven't worked um, before in the past. Um, just before I get into it, I am not a careers advisor. These are just my personal experiences and the way I apply for jobs and just my general advice. The best place to is to look at, I've got three ways to advise on getting a job. The first one is to use your friends, family and any associates that you might know. People like to know, have recommendations to be on friends, family or anyone that they know as opposed to people that they don't know in the interview process. There are three ways to get a job. The first one is to apply on places like Indeed, Glassdoor, or you can apply on the Job Centre website. I also use. There are three ways to get a job. The first one is to recommend, be recommended by friends, family, and anyone that you know. This is really good because some recruiters would rather have people that are recommended that are their friends or family. It also saves them time on advertising as well, which can be quite expensive and it can also be expensive in the interview process when interviewing people to pay them to sit there to go through loads of applications and then have to interview everyone individually. The second way is Indeed and Glassdoor. When I started about 10 years ago, when I started applying for my first job, you had to go to the job centre or you had to go to a young person called Connection. Nowadays it's very different and these websites it's best to have a CV online. Some people might be in photography or something, so you might want two different CVs. I was a florist, so what I had is I had a florist CV and I had a normal CV for people that weren't interested in poetry and I was applying at a place like restaurants and that kind of thing. The other place you might want to apply is direct. The one place I would apply for my current job was on NHS jobs. If you want to work for Network Rail, you'll need to go on Network Rail website as it won't be up that door. Sorry, I just tapped around to the door there. Um, yeah, so anyway, you want to update, also upload your CV onto specific areas. If you're interested in Network Rail, then apply there. If you're interested in NHS jobs, um, also apply on there. Um, it's not always about your CV as well. The job I've got now, um, I never really looked at your CV. They wanted money, handling experience and experience working with people. You also have to have the uh, DBS um, criminal record check. The DBS is the new name for it now. Social media is also a very big thing today. Um, I recommend lots of young people um, apply online as well. I did look at LinkedIn for me, but the jobs I was applying for and at the time it was quite specialist, certain um, industries were on there and I used it. Like maybe it would be finance or something a bit more corporate, they'd have people looking on there from people and looking for their CVs and job hunting the people. Um, Kept going like a marching soldier. Play my pop boy. Might also be an idea to speak to other people in the Hold role. Um, if you're interested in being a paramedic, it might be good to try and speak to um, paramedics that you know in your family or your friend circle. Maybe your mum's friend is a paramedic or is a nurse that you want to speak to them and ask them about what it's like doing that job role and what skills and experience you might need. The other thing you might also want to try is volunteering. I know when I started out, all I had was to pay for that. I got paid a little bit of soft money for it, but mostly it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of experience, and it helped me build upon that. 
I also did what you expect him to as well. Um, so that helps as well. You need something that shows that you're going to give him some time to go to volunteer to get long term, short term pay for long term, term gain um, in the job sector. You might, I volunteered at the club for three years. I only left there when I realised I wasn't going to get paid or offered a job. So because of this, I decided to go and work somewhere else to gain a different experience and a different business style of how it was run. Now, education. I believe that's a big thing and always has been as well. Not everybody needs to go to university and get a good job. It all depends on kind of job that you want. I haven't been to invest yet, but I don't rule it out in the future. The other thing is, you might want to start a side hustle as well, and you might want to start a job on the side so you've got more than one income coming in. I'm also starting a side hustle as I, as I would like to gain new skills and experience. The other thing as well is to keep positive. There are absolutely millions of people that work somewhere due to the virus. This is one of the reasons I decided to make this video, as I remember even though it's 10 years ago how hard it was for me to get a job. I felt very ill, I didn't have much level qualifications compared to people with A-levels and GCSEs, and I also found it hard that every time you go to an interview it's, oh you haven't got experience, you haven't got experience. But I've come to realise recently that you also get that if you're 30 or 40. You still get it later on. Just because you're 10 years on, you're still going to get people saying you haven't got experience. This used to really annoy me and my friends. And we used to say, well how are we supposed to get the experience if no one will give us a job or a chance? I'd also advise young people that are just leaving school going into sixth form, going to college, or maybe even going to uni. Don't just apply for something because your friend will also apply for it. If your friend is applying for to be a nail technician, but you're not really interested in doing that nails, and you're not very good at talking to them and you're quite introverted, then you might want to consider another job somewhere else that is best suited to your personal style and your personality. One of the big things I did when I applied for a job in the ambulance service, I read about the trust value and I also looked up about the trust. I've also done this with other companies, but lots of companies I've worked for have been small stories, cafes and that type of business. They'll all have a history and they'll all want to know that you're interested in their business. Small businesses are more likely to ask things about maybe who started the business or what do you know about our, our brand and our business and what we do. One of the, the key things I said to one of the higher managers at our ambulance service is that I knew that 5,000 square footage, that's quite a lot to drive. And one of the managers was quite impressed with this as I was speaking to people who were assigned for paramedic roles and they didn't even know how how far they would have to drive. People want to employ people at their more lately as well, as the trust values and the company values and organisation. They don't want to work with people that don't seem interested and only care about the money and the other job role when spending. You need to also look into it because this sets the best of things precedent when you when you're applying for jobs as opposed to all the other competition that are going for jobs. As I spoke to people who were looking to pursue paramedics and they didn't know what how how far the area covered or anything. They hadn't looked up online. When I had my business I also would have been when if I took people on I'd also want to know what they know about my business. It's nice to show an interest in other businesses and how they've started and the organisation you hope to work with. I just want to end this video by saying keep positive and keep applying. 
Find lots of different things, including the first of this video. With education and at working with your network, I personally didn't have a lot of friends and a lot of family that could put me forward for jobs. So every job I've ever had, most of them have been from me applying on job sites rather than a personal recommendation. But I do know some people that it has worked out well for them to be recommended rather than just applying online. I think the key thing is, in this day and age, is to try lots of different things. Don't just try one thing. Like you wouldn't just apply for um, working in a restaurant and only want to do that job. You might want to also be a nurse technician, work in, work in a restaurant. And you might also want to be a photographer as well. So look at what skills you've got and where your passions may be lie. Because that's going to shine through in the interview as well, that you want to be passionate about what job you're applying for. Please give this video a like and a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate any comments or feedback and to see more videos you'd like to see in my next video.